Google just unleashed teams of AI that literally optimize themselves, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. OpenAI just dropped their most powerful model yet, O3 Pro, that's demolishing Claude and Gemini on PhD-level tests. Sam Altman is claiming we've officially entered the age of superintelligence, calling it a gentle singularity. And meta? Zuckerberg isn't backing down. He's launching a covert new research lab, chasing something even more ambitious than AGI, and he just poached the scale AI founder to run it. Honestly, this feels like we're in the final sprint before AI becomes something completely beyond our grasp. Let's dive into all of it. Google's Mass Framework the most underrated breakthrough. Yet first up, let's talk about Google's revolutionary mass framework, because this might be the most overlooked leap towards superintelligence we've witnessed. Here's the breakdown. Traditionally, an AI model handles one specific job, solving math, processing text, or writing code. When you combine multiple specialized models, you create an AI agent, a system where each model contributes to tackling bigger challenges. But what if you go even further? What if you connect entire AI agent teams and get them collaborating as one massive coordinated network? That's exactly what Google's MASS framework achieves. It builds teams of AI teams, all synchronized and attacking complex problems faster, smarter, and with minimal human oversight. Why is this revolutionary? Normally, getting AI agents to collaborate requires manually programming each one's exact role in sequence. You're essentially writing detailed prompts and orchestrating their interactions like directing a complex ballet. One misstep destroys the entire performance. The insane part? Even minor instruction changes can completely shatter the system's effectiveness. Mass completely flips this approach. Instead of guessing optimal prompts and agent configurations, it handles the heavy lifting automatically. Mass identifies which prompts and agent combinations actually deliver superior results, then optimizes the entire ecosystem through three phases. Phase 1. It enhances each agent's individual prompts. Every AI gets fine-tuned with superior instructions like think step-by-step step or concrete examples to follow. Phase 2. It experiments with different agent connection patterns, essentially designing the optimal teamwork architecture. Rather than blindly testing every possibility, Mass focuses exclusively on configurations showing genuine potential, eliminating wasted computational effort. Phase 3. With the architecture locked in, Mass returns to fine-tune prompts again. But now it considers the complete system. It adjusts instructions so agents don't just excel individually, they excel collectively. The performance gains are staggering. In benchmark tests like Math and Hotpot QA, mass optimized systems significantly outperformed traditional multi agent approaches. Just through prompt optimization, mass achieved 84% accuracy on mathematical problems, crushing systems that simply added more agents. In other scenarios, the right architecture boosted results by 3%, while poor setups actually degraded performance by 15%. The team design matters enormously. Mass discovered that agent configurations like debate or executor worked exceptionally well, while others like reflect or summarize actually damaged performance. That's why Mass doesn't just throw more agents at problems. It selects the right ones, provides optimal instructions, and connects them most effectively. Even better, Mass is modular. You can integrate new agents, modify roles, and deploy it across various domains, whether debugging code, building reasoning chains, or extracting information from multiple sources. Bottom line, Google's Mass makes AI systems brilliant, not through blind scaling, but by optimizing how they think and collaborate. It's like evolving from a group of smart individuals into a championship caliber team, all without micromanaging every decision. This transformation isn't confined to research labs. It's already reshaping employment. As systems like Mass make AI teams more intelligent and autonomous, companies are eliminating roles that can be automated. That's why Microsoft, Amazon, and Google have cut thousands of positions while simultaneously creating new roles specifically for people who understand this AI wave. Individuals who can work with agents, design workflows, and remain relevant as AI systems optimize themselves. OpenAI's O3 Pro, the new monster model. Now OpenAI just unleashed their most devastating model yet, O3 Pro. It's the enhanced version of the O3 reasoning model they initially launched in April, and it's now available to ChatGPT Pro and team users. Enterprise and Edu users get access next week, and developers can already use it through the API. The pricing? $20 per million input tokens and $80 per million output tokens. Not budget-friendly, but this thing is absolutely absolutely devastating. According to OpenAI, O3 Pro outperforms everything they've ever created, including the already impressive O3. Reviewers universally rate it superior in every category – science, education, business writing, programming. Basically, every demanding use case. It scores higher for clarity, accuracy, instruction following, and completeness. The trade-off? 
it's slightly slower than O1 Pro. You get superior quality, but generation takes longer. What makes O3 Pro exceptional isn't just text performance. It can analyze files, search the web, reason through visuals, and execute Python. It has memory capabilities for personalized experiences, though it's not flawless. Temporary chats are currently disabled due to technical issues, it can't generate images, and it doesn't work with Canvas yet. The collaborative AI workspace OpenAI has been developing, but the benchmarks are crushing. On the AIME 2024 test, a mathematics exam measuring high-level reasoning, O3 Pro demolished Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro. It also beat Claude Opus from Anthropic on GPQA Diamond, a PhD-level science benchmark. OpenAI is definitely not messing around. While everyone focuses on O3 Pro, there's another major announcement. Sam Altman confirmed OpenAI's first open-source model in years is delayed. Originally expected this June, he now says it's coming later this summer. According to him, the team discovered something unexpected that's worth the delay. No additional details, just building anticipation. Speaking of Altman, he's discussing something much bigger. In a recent blog post, he declared, We've already passed the event horizon of superintelligence. That's his way of saying AI isn't just improving, it's entered an entirely new phase. He believes we're in the early stages of the singularity, not the chaotic sci-fi version, but what he calls a gentle singularity, a steady, manageable ascent toward digital superintelligence. He backed this up with serious statistics. As of May 2025, ChatGPT has 800 million weekly active users, nearly a billion people depending on it weekly for everything from coding and content creation to serious business and research. Altman even declared that writing code will never be the same after this year, and he's projecting even more dramatic changes ahead. By 2026, he expects AI systems to start generating genuinely new insights. By 2027, we might see real-world robots handling tasks independently, but he's also acknowledging the risks. Even minor misalignments in AI behavior, when scaled to hundreds of millions of users, could create massive problems. That's why he's advocating for serious global discussions now on guiding powerful AI development. He says we need to prevent centralized control, ensure these systems align with humanity's long-term interests, and determine what values should actually shape the AI we're building. Meanwhile, OpenAI is still battling legal challenges. They're currently appealing a federal court order in a lawsuit from the New York Times, which demands they preserve all user data, including deleted conversations. OpenAI calls it overreach and says they're focused on protecting user privacy. Meta's massive power play, the secret superintelligence lab. Just as OpenAI pushes deeper into superintelligence, Meta is making its own enormous move. Mark Zuckerberg is now personally spearheading the effort, launching a brand new AI research lab with one objective, superintelligence, not just AGI, but the level beyond it. And he's not doing this quietly. He's reorganizing the company's entire AI infrastructure to make this happen. The centerpiece of this new lab is Alexander Wang, the 28-year-old founder of Scale AI. Meta has been in intensive negotiations to invest billions into Scale AI, not just to secure Wang himself, but to bring over other crucial talent from his team. It's a power play and it comes with massive compensation packages. Metis reportedly offering seven to nine figure packages to top researchers from OpenAI, Google, and other major companies. Some have already signed on. The pressure driving this move is clear. Meta's been struggling to maintain pace. Internal conflicts, failed product launches, and talent losses have all created setbacks. But Zuckerberg's vision hasn't wavered. Since ChatGPT disrupted the industry in 2022, he's been integrating AI into everything. Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, even smart glasses. Now, with over a billion people using Meta AI monthly, he wants the company back on top. This isn't Meta's first AI initiative either. Back in 2013, after losing the race to acquire DeepMind, Zuckerberg established the company's first dedicated AI lab. Since then, Meta's chief AI scientist, Jan LeCun, one of Deep Learning's pioneers, T has led research. But LeCun holds a very different perspective from the rest of Silicon Valley. He's not convinced we're close to AGI. He thinks achieving it will require a completely new approach. Now, Zuckerberg's hoping Wang will drive that breakthrough. Scale AI, after all, was the backbone for data labeling used by OpenAI, Microsoft, and others. They built the infrastructure that trained the current AI generation. Now, Meta is betting that the same person who helped others win the AI war might help them dominate the next round. Meta is playing this strategically too. With regulators already scrutinizing them closely, this potential scale AI deal is being structured carefully, possibly to avoid triggering another antitrust lawsuit. 